It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the 8th Virginia Regiment in the Revolutionary War in West Virginia, Part 2. After summoning men from the Shenandoah Valley in 1775, George Washington pushed further west into Virginia as he built the Continental Army. In January 1776, he sent out the call. Let me plant my banner in West Augusta, and I will surround it with fighting men who will drive the invaders from our land. West Augusta was a large district of northwestern Virginia that covered a large swath of modern West Virginia. Washington's beckon also included four counties that today are in the state as well as Kentucky, and three Trans-Allegheny counties still in Virginia. 792 men from the region answered the call and formed the 10 companies of the 8th Virginia Regiment in Suffolk. Led by Peter Muhlenberg, the regiment first went to Charleston, South Carolina to help guard the coast. Meanwhile, the Continental Congress declared independence on July 4, 1776. In 1777, the regiment joined Washington's main army and fought alongside him in the Battle of Brandywine in September and the Battle of Germantown in October. Enduring the harsh winter at Valley Forge in 1777, the 8th Virginia Regiment emerged in June 1778 to fight the last battle of the Philadelphia Campaign, the Battle of Monmouth. In May 1779, the regiment merged with the 4th Virginia Regiment and was sent to South Carolina, where they fought in one of the most devastating American defeats of the Revolution, the Siege of Charleston. The attrition of battle led to the dispersion of the original group to other theaters of the war. The regiment was also called the German Battalion for its many Germanic settlers from the Potomac Valley, though it had an equal amount of English, Scottish, and Irish soldiers, establishing a legacy as West Augusta would one day become West Virginia.